Good morning. Today is my birthday. And I am very tired. No, do this, that. Oh, yeah. So, come with me on birthday adventures, I guess. I'm gonna try to block everybody's or vlog, vlog everybody's birthday this year. Because last year I did Sawyer's and Lincoln's, and that was it. <laughs> so, yay! I am getting ready, and I'm gonna go get my Dath Doth however it's pronounced. I've heard it pronounced both ways by different piercers on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna go try to get that pierced. I don't know if mine is pierceable because it's kind of flat, so I'll take my, my hat off. And, um, it's this part of your ear. Yeah, so I don't know if mine is pierceable. If it's not, I'm just gonna get my Helix done or maybe this I don't know my Tragus um still on the fence about which I think it'll probably I'll probably get my helix done um I had my helixes done when I was 12 and I can't remember why I took them out I think I took them out like I got them pierced I think I had to take them out when I was having problems with my appendix because I was in and out of the hospital a lot and I think they closed up, but I also can't remember. But then I also had, um, I had my industrial pierced when I was 17 and that's a bar. It was on this side. That's a bar that goes across and I had it pierced for like four days and it got really infected. like not irritated like my nose rings irritated right now because um it does that if I accidentally get makeup on it when I'm doing my makeup it'll get irritated for a couple of days but um no my industrial was bad infected my whole ear swelled up and it looked like cauliflower it was and it hurt it was like throbbing um that was that was not good I was excited when I realized that piercing shops were open again because I've been wanting to get my nose redone. I've had my nose done. This is the third time. The first time I took it out because I was doing theater in uh, high school and it closed up. And the second time I took it out because I had Lincoln, I went to the hospital to have him. And it within the time that I was in the hospital for like those three whole days, it closed up but it was like not fully healed. So that's my plan for today. And then later I'm gonna take the kids to the lake maybe and to go get ice cream. And yeah. So, okay, yeah, uh, the baby's crying, so I gotta go bye. It's, it's cloudy-ish mm. and it's cool, but I bet once we step out into like a sunny-ish spot, it'll be noticeably warmer, so. Do you see this? I do. I've been, so it happens when you actually go outside because there's actual stuff to do outside. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> oh, I did it! I got my dance pissed! And it didn't hurt as bad as like everybody on the internet made it seem. Because there were so many mixed reviews and that's what I was like worried about. Yeah. Was like people were saying, oh my god, this one's literally the worst piercing ever. And... Um... I'm sorry, squirrel. And so I was like, oh no, like, I'll get that one and get it over with. But look at it, look at it, it's sore because he had to fiddle with it a lot and that was very uncomfortable. So the actual piercing itself wasn't uncomfortable. Well, okay, it hurt, like all piercings hurt. Piercings are gonna hurt, but it was the fiddling with after that was like, yeah, so I got it. Because the books that kids can read is a lot more colorful. <laughs> I don't know. It's a force of habit. Come to Barnes and Nobles and look at all the books that I can buy the kids. They've got Lyle Lyle Crocodile. It's Shrek. I'm gonna buy this for Nikki's baby whenever they have babies. I am. Like I, I almost want to buy it now and save it for that day. <laughs> like because he's always sharing Shrek memes. Yep. 
<laughs> I bet, I bet he, I bet you would think it was a good gift, huh, Nikki? And tonight we are going to Jumper Juice <laughs> birthday vlog. Yay! <laughs> We're going to the lake. Woohoo! We went to the lake like ten times this week, Ma. But you love it every time. Yeah. <laughs> and I love swimming. Wait. Scott, can you peek in the back and make sure that the floaties are back there? You guys don't want to go right here and play in the, the water right here? I saw you did a handstand. You did really good. No, I did a, a one handstand. Oh, okay. Wow. I remember doing that. Anybody else remember doing that? <laughs> Come on, guys. Is that yummy? Yeah. Hello, so I just wanted to close out this video by saying that it's been a really good birthday and I really love my new piercing and I kind of wanted to like talk about that for a minute. So something that like I noticed throughout the day with my date piercing as opposed to my conch piercing is and this is something that I like with my date piercing like anytime I go like this to put my hair back I don't like catch this this is like gotten irritated a couple times so I go like that and then I forget it's like and so it gets mad for a couple of days um so I I really like that like if you're thinking about getting piercings and you don't know which kinds of piercings you want, like that is a bonus. Like there's nothing sticking out in the back of your ear for you to hook your hair onto when you like do this or like that or whatever. Um, something else, a con, it's so sore. Like it is so totally sore. It's, it's a little throbby and it's kind of like, yeah, it's like more so, like it kind of feels like how you would feel if you have an earache, if you've ever had like an earache, it, it kind of goes like into, into there, cause it is kind of in there. So that's kind of a con, but that is also something that goes away and it'll probably be gone in a couple of days, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty good. I love it. I absolutely love it. I wish I could have gotten a pierce, uh, video of the actual piercing process, but it's like, I always think like, even if I ask the piercer, is it okay if I record this? That doesn't necessarily mean that everybody in the building has, is okay with me recording them and putting them on YouTube. That's why when, uh, the video I went to Coldstone, I really tried not to get anybody else because I feel like it's, it's just rude and I wanted to try my best to respect other people you know so uh this guy this guy's tired so it's uh oh it's almost nine o'clock here the sun's still up because that's how this is it's, the sun being up here is torture I don't that's like that's not torture that's dramatic I, I just I'm not a fan of the fact that the sun doesn't go down until like 10 o'clock or 9 30. anyway so I am gonna quit rambling and I am having a good time I hope everybody has had a great day and I hope that everybody is happy and healthy and living their best life and okay I love all 18 of you guys even though some of you I don't actually know who you are thank you for subscribing okay bye